A lot of people are envious of the Florida weather. I'll tell you what, it's nothing to brag about. It's so freaking hot to get in the car. Like, I don't even want to drive anywhere right now. But we have to get a lot of work started, especially with this car. So, I'm going to let the hot air come out. Come out. AC's already on. It's cranking. Well, guys, welcome back to the channel. Check out my hair, man. The whole coronavirus, I can't get a haircut right now. It's so long. But whatever. We have a lot of things to do today because we have to get the Unos ready. We're going to do a long or a long, a far road trip with this car and I'm gonna explain what where we're going in a little bit but I actually have to go to the powder coater and get a couple parts and then we're gonna start the video so I'll see you guys once we get to the powder coater well guys as you can see we got our bash bar back and now we have the powder coated brackets for the intercooler that's pretty freaking professional if I do say so myself it looks really really good everything on this car is orange now and if you guys need anything powder coated in the Highlands area go to these guys right here Heartland coatings there's a number hit them up really good pricing he did my uh, my subframe bar this my calipers and several other little small things for 100 bucks so check these guys out they're really really great now let's head out to ricardo's shop because we have a couple things to install all right guys welcome back to the channel before we start this video you guys probably have a couple questions regarding the unos and why i'm putting money into the suspension the reason to that is because for the first time ever i think maybe if everything goes well if this whole coronavirus thing passes by i will be attending the miatas at the gap I'm current, I currently live in Florida and I put it on my GPS from here all the way to the Miatas at the Gap is a total of 12 hours. So it's 12 hours there, 12 hours back. So 22 hours. It's going to be a little bit more than that because we're going to have to stop to sleep maybe, stop to get fuel and snacks and stuff like that. So I'm assuming around total 25 hours, a 25 hour trip. All the way to North Carolina and if I want to make it without you know popping a tire because my suspension is 30 years old and it rubs under like serious compression or driving aggressively I need to get new suspension we're gonna fix a couple things in the next couple of videos on the Unos in order for me to make it safely there and that's where these things come in I did order brand new teen coilovers these are the street ones and they cost me I think 550 around 550 these are the medium medium priced ones you do need to use your top hat and we will be installing these now I just wanted to let you guys know why so well boys after six hours this side is officially done it took me a long time because I was looking at the handbook I didn't have the proper tools so as you can see I'm borrowing all of Ricardo's tools from his shop but he doesn't mind he said I could do it here um, we have this in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it on the other side and this thing looks really really good what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna put the wheel lower it and see how it looks um, I I left it up to spec they told me to put it at 34 millimeters right here so that's what I did I'm gonna do that for all of them I guess you have to kind of break them in before you lower them or raise them they just want them at a certain level um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a step by step on the other ones. I just wanted to do one first just to know what I need to remove. So now that we have the stuck strut here, I highly recommend you guys use one of these. It's just a spring compressor so the spring doesn't go flying. I don't think these have much compression because as you can see, these struts are kind of blown. But regardless, it's always better to be safe than sorry. The nut on the top is a 17 millimeter. So all you have to do is undo the nut. The top will come off and then you can release the spring. So something like so. There we go. We need that for the new strut. We also need this part right here. So this is all we need and check this out this is why my suspension was horrible this is 30 year old suspension check this out look how slow this is the other one never even came up that one was completely blown this one had a little bit of life left that one was blown like crap so all right just for the people that are probably curious i'm going to show you how to put one of these coilovers together i'm only doing one because it's very honestly it's very easy first you grab your spring washer i believe they're called spring washers that goes on top of the spring then you grab this long spacer okay then you grab another spacer this is a medium one you put that on there you put this rubber piece to the top hat you put the top hat on, 
like so. You put the small spacer that they provide, and you put the nut. And you're done, just like that. Well, let's make sure it's thread properly. And you're done. I've been so horrible with recording this video. I do apologize. I just, once you get into the hang of doing it, you don't, like everything, you completely block everything off and I keep forgetting to record. But I am gonna show you how much it actually lifted the car. As you can see, this thing looks like a monster truck. I've only had the fronts, haven't done the rear. I will do the rears either tomorrow or later today. But we do have the fronts and this thing is stiff. Doesn't move much. And the reason, before you guys ask, the reason is this high because I, unlike other people that just go straight low, I was reading the directions and Teen actually wants you to put the coils at uh, this certain level, right on these, uh, let them get used to the weight. And then it doesn't say exactly how much time, but I guess it, it needs you to break them in. Once they're broken in, I'm just going to drive them for like two or three days like this. Once it settles down, then we're going to lower it. So teen actually wants him this certain height for both sides so i'm gonna do that for a couple days until it kind of just levels out once it levels out then we will lower this thing but for now it's gonna be like this monster truck status and as you can see the powder coated uh strut brace bar is finally on honestly it looks really really good the only bad thing is i need to do something about this lip because this lip is really dragging me crazy i'm gonna try to get it painted soon or go switch to a black one so i don't know does these go oh, okay that's why it was a little weird there we go now it should sit flush as you can see it looks really really good underneath there all orange orange in the rear orange in the front I'm actually thinking I'm going to do orange for the turn signals as well. Like get tint form and do them completely orange because it's starting to look really, really good. I'm really happy with this car, where this car is headed. So this is how the Unos looks right now and honestly the front looks really pretty perfect and I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking why I don't go lower. The reason to that is because like I said again I'm taking a road trip in this car and I don't want to rub. Honestly I think it's a little too low. I might have to lift it a little bit but this is the daily setup I am going to be running. The back is a little taller and the reason to that is I'm going to let the springs kind of settle down in the next couple of days. If it doesn't settle a little bit more I'm going to lower it just a tiny bit but this side will be higher than the front because we're gonna put some cargo in the back. I'm gonna have my backpack full of stuff. We're gonna have tools and yeah, things like that. So I want the back to be able to hold all the weight for that. Plus I'm bringing another person and they're going to bring stuff. So for now, we're just gonna see how it settles and I'm gonna show you in, an, in a couple days. So stay tuned. So next clip you see, it will be a couple days and you guys will see how the car looks at that point. I don't know what's going on, but we're back to the channel today we're going to be working on the unos like i told you guys before we're going to get this thing ready to hopefully go to miatas at the gaps the number one thing that i hate about this miata is the fact that it did have a stereo at one point and i honestly would not would have kept it on there because it had a lot of japanese musics but it stopped working out of nowhere so i went and bought another one so i'm going to show you guys the original here is the original and like I told you guys I would have most I would have kept this I would have kept this just for the music and just because I wanted to keep it as original as possible but it doesn't work and it's super heavy this is like technology from like the 1990s really really heavy I would say this is probably 2000s whatever but I would say this is at least at least six seven pounds this is not even weigh a probably pound and a half we got we went with a Sony XAV W601. I got a medium range stereo, it has Bluetooth, it has everything. And we're gonna install this bad boy today on the Unos because pretty much we do have the coilovers and this is how it sits currently. So I love the front. We need to lower the rear a tiny bit. I pretty much kept it on the settings that it, it came in and I did not lower the back whatsoever. We do have a little bit of gap, let's see, finger wise. We have a two finger gap here. We have a one finger gap here. So I wanna make a one finger gap 
all the way around i don't want to slam it we can go a lot lower on this side but i'm not going to because i know on the way to michigan michigan sorry north carolina there's a lot of potholes i've been there before and i don't want to deal with that so we're going to lower this one a tiny bit we're going to install the stereo as well the car looks like a mess right now but we're going to fix it and we're going to put a good stereo in it i have all the plastics over here um, yeah, so it looks like a mess and we we're also going to be converting this from R12 We have an R12 to R134 AC kit We're gonna put free on in it because the AC is not working on this car anymore. So we're gonna fix the AC We have the coils and we're gonna put a new stereo and this thing's just gonna be a lot better in the long run I actually have never played music in this car because it has that Japanese stereo so we're gonna have music and I'm really excited for that. First time this thing ever plays American music. And it sounds pretty good, but it's in. I'm not gonna record too much, I don't wanna get copyrighted, but it is playing American music for Well guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. I'm gonna show you how, wow, this doesn't clear. I'm gonna show you, this is how low the rear is. I have not lowered, I'm gonna lower it a little bit, but it's about a two finger gap. And the front is about one finger gap. So, so far for this car, before we even take it anywhere, we do have new coilover so we don't scrape. We did put, um, we did convert the R12 to something more modern. We put Freon in it, so that's done. It has really cold AC and we put a Sony stereo with no Bluetooth. This thing doesn't have Bluetooth. I'm a little upset. It was kind of pricey. It was a medium. I paid $169, $170 for that. Radio does not even have Bluetooth, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, we still have the USB. Oh, and we do have the finished panel on the units as well. So finished panel, coilover stereo, AC. This thing is getting pretty close. I have a couple parts coming from Garage Star for this thing, and we are gonna put new tires, and that's about it. And hopefully this thing makes a 20 hour drive. I don't see why it wouldn't. If any Miata is gonna make it 20 hours, it's going to be this one because it's super low mileage. Well, knock on wood, hopefully it does. I have a couple more cosmetic things for this. I did take off the wing because it's really, really heavy. The one I got is really heavy. I bought a new one, uh, a more lighter one. And we're going to put that in the next couple of days. We're also doing a 1.8 swap brakes, brake kit. And that's about it. So I know it wasn't super exciting, but this thing is getting a lot of love right now because I'm trying to make it to the Miatas at the Gaps. But I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys next time.